everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and today I'll be showing you exactly how I made this pre-poo that I used in last week's video. So if you missed out on that video, you can check it out after this one. I'll leave the link in the description box and on the screen so you could check it out when you are ready. But first we'll go ahead and learn how to make the pre-poo that I used. So this is very quick and simple. It only uses a few ingredients as well. So if you are looking for any of the ingredients that I mentioned today, you can find them in the description box. But this is an aloe vera gel based pre-poo. And the reason I chose the ingredients that I chose today is because they are all very good for both the hair and the scalp. And the reason that I'm incorporating a pre-poo into my wash day routine is because it helps to reduce breakage, helps to start the detangling process, and it helps to moisturize the scalp and the hair. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and make our way to the kitchen and get started. Okay, so the first ingredient we are going to add into the mixer is aloe vera gel. We are going to add four tablespoons of this, and this ingredient is great to use because it strips the hair of extra oil, helps itchy scalp, promotes hair growth and strength, and protects the hair from UV damage. I absolutely love using aloe vera gel in my hair products. I think it makes my hair look very shiny and it does wonders for the fill of my hair as well. It makes it feel very, very soft. So next we are going to add grapeseed oil. We are going to add two tablespoons of this. And the reason we are using this ingredient is because it helps to smooth split ends, promotes scalp and hair health, adds shine and strengthens the strands of the hair. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in the almond oil. We are going to add one and a half tablespoons of this. I could not find my half tablespoon. So instead of the half tablespoon, I'm going to use 1.5 teaspoons because that equals the same amount. But almond oil is great because it softens the hair, makes it easier to comb through, moisturizes the hair and protects the hair against damage when you're brushing and styling it. So the next ingredient we're going to use is jojoba oil. So this one, we are going to do the same thing. It's 0.5 tablespoons, so I'm going to use 1.5 teaspoons again. But this helps to moisturize the hair, protect against dryness, breakage, and split ends, and moisturizes the scalp to help with dandruff. So now I'm going to add in vegetable glycerin. I'm going to use 1.5 teaspoons or 0.5 tablespoons of this. It deeply moisturizes and hydrates the hair, promotes hair growth, reduces scalp itching, and detangles the hair. Next, you want to add five drops of peppermint oil. This increases blood circulation, rebalances the scalp, and soothes itchy scalp. Next, I'm going to add five drops of rosemary oil. This helps to improve circulation, protects hair from damage and breakage, keeps scalp from fungal infections, and reduces hair fall. So now that I have all of these ingredients together, I am going to mix it with this hand mixer, and I'm just going to turn it on and let it go for a few seconds. So I'm putting it on low to medium speed because I don't want it to foam up too much. So I'm just turning it on and off here and there so that it mixes up a little bit and then we can go ahead and add the last ingredient. All right, so now that that's done, I'll go ahead and add five drops of vitamin E oil. This helps to strengthen the hair, promotes healthy scalp and stimulates hair growth. So once that's added in, I'm just going to mix it again for a couple of seconds. So literally just a couple of times turning it on and off and that's it. And again, it's on low to medium speed. And you did notice that I did not put a preservative in this. So um, I don't expect this to last for a long time. I'm going to use this the day that I make it. And then I also put it in the refrigerator, whatever's left, and then I use that the following week. And that's usually it. I'm usually able to get through all of what I make within two uses, so I don't have to worry about it spoiling or growing bacteria, and I wouldn't use it past one to two weeks just because of that. And it's so important to store it in the refrigerator over that time so that it doesn't grow bacteria. So now I'm just adding it into a different container so that it's easy for me to apply it to my scalp. I did purchase a funnel and this container from the dollar store. The container is not great. It does 
leak. I'll still link to it in the description box in case you want to check it out because it is very cheap. But I would definitely use something a little bit better next time so that it doesn't spill all over the place. But I hope this was really helpful for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.